What's going on guys? Welcome back. If this is your first time tuning in, hello, my name is Zeus. I want to jump straight into this video today. So I picked up a camber arm kit from Z1 Motorsports and it arrived in the mail like last week. I'm going to get everything installed today. Hopefully, if not, I'll probably chop this video up in a few videos. That's kind of whack. I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to do that at all. I'm going to do it all in one video. So the kit came with front control arms, rear control arms, rear traction arms and i believe some toll bolts um so i'm gonna go ahead and get everything installed today and show you guys what that looks like so this is everything that comes inside of the kit like i said you got the front control arms with instructions and lubrication uh thread lock actually you got the uh i think those are the camber arms and those are the trailing or i think those are the camber arms and those are the traction arms and again it comes with a thread lock as well and instructions so it should be a pretty easy install Okay guys, so the first thing I'm gonna be doing is doing the front control arms. To do these, it's pretty simple. You just need to take off three bolts essentially. Um, so I'll show you what exactly it is and then I'm gonna start working on it. Okay, so looking at your wheel well, what you wanna do is go in and look up. So this is gonna be your uh, forward control arm. You have one bolt here. You have another bolt on the other side. And then you have this bolt and cotter pin on top. All right, so here's the control arms off. Um, this is the new one, that's the old one. What I'm gonna wanna do is I'm gonna measure the length of each arm on the new one, and then from the old one to the new one here, uh, just to make sure that my alignment is pretty much the same, so it's good enough to drive to the mechanic shop. Mm. Looks like I lost my tape measure, so I'm gonna have to eyeball this. Uh, good thing the alignment shop's right around the corner, so I don't really have to worry about, you know, tearing up these tires too bad, because, I need new tires um, but yeah just do it let's see how it goes so I got everything adjusted right about where I want it to be um, this is my length I mean I guess you can't really tell the difference on the camera but uh, yeah goes in alongside forward uh, let's uh, put this in should be pretty easy All right, so got done with the front control arms. I'm in the back of the car now underneath to show you guys the camber arms and the traction arms. Uh, so the traction arms, pretty simple. Three bolts, one on this side. And over here, you got one here, and then one on the opposite side. All pretty simple. Then for the rear um, camber arm, you got the bolt right here. Nut on this side. Nuts over here. And then the bolt on this side um, it's all pretty simple just like the forward control arms I'm just gonna go ahead and do this one side um, and do the other side of my own so check back in with you guys all 
All right, so here is my camera arm. My camera's hella close. So here's the camera arm, right? Nut on this side, bolt on the other side. Here's the bolt, but if you can see, when it comes out, it has a yoked washer on there. But when you pull it out, you can't get it past the sway arm. The sway arm is blocking it really well. Fuck, I'm way too close to show you guys. But essentially the sway arm comes down here, goes down and around to the back side of the uh, camber arm. The camber arm is yoked, so I thought the camber arm washer is yoked, which means it's longer on one side than the other side. I thought I could just slide it right past that uh, sway arm, but it uh, looks like I can't. Um, so what I'm gonna do now is just swap the swap the sway bar or swap pull off the sway bar just gonna pull off this nut here and then the two mounting nuts on top uh, lower it and then pull that bolt out for the freaking uh, rear, or rear um, camber arm to come out should be pretty easy Dude, look at that bushing. That bushing is done for. Holy shit. Oh my god. I am. Oh man, this is way past due. Welp. Alright, so for your camber arm, it's gonna be a little harder for me because this one was bent. Um, so I'm gonna try to approximate the length. Um, and I don't think I explained it in the last one, but you pretty much wanna measure from the eye of the bearing all the way across to the eye of the bearing. Uh, so you're not measuring from end to end because as you can see, this bushing might be a little bit thicker than this one is. So it's more accurate to measure from the eye where the bolt actually goes through. Yeah, so I'm gonna do that, throw it back in and uh, show you guys the traction arm. You guys are looking at me kind of funny. I'm like, hey, why are you laying down on the ground like that? Why are you trying to break the nut like that? You suck. Well, it's in a weird spot. Let me show you. This bolt It's in this corner at just the wrong angle. That can't really get anything here, you know? So you need a wrench of some sort. You can't use a socket, it's too long. So I'll use a wrench and hammer it out. Make it work. So we got another dilemma, pulling out the traction arm. Um, it was a struggle to get it off on both sides, but now that I have it disconnected, I have the bolts out, I'm trying to actually get it off. Cause on the forward side, there's a stud that I'll show you in a minute. Rear side obviously is the forks, but what I need to do 
pull out the stud, slide it forward to get the forks off of the actual, uh, what was this shit called? It was like a, it was like a wheel bearing. <laughs> Excuse my vocabulary, I'm a little tired. Um, it's just not cooperating. I got the traction arm connected to the silver stud in the back. I had to hammer it off. And then on the inside, I've got the forks here, um, but the forks can't slide down and they can't slide up. So I have to, so I'm gonna have to pull this whole thing forward and then out, but giving me a hard time. I thought the front camera arms are gonna be harder, but these traction arms are giving me a hard time. Okay. I think you have to take off the camber arms in order to remove the traction arms because of the arm for the camber arm is blocking. All right, so if you can see here, this is my traction arm banging on the top of the camber arm. So I'm gonna remove the camber arm again and hopefully the traction arm just slides straight down. All right, so again, I'm gonna measure, making sure. Excuse the, the kid. All right, so again, I'm gonna measure from the eye to the eye, make sure they're about the same length. As you can see, the stock one is a little bit longer. Then extend this one out and then throw it in. I got the actual freaking traction arm in. It was not easy. All right, you're, what, what I found easiest was to um, actually get the bushing side in first and then slip the uh, arm side in with force up through the uh, camera arm and then to where the traction arm is supposed to be. Real tough. Sorry for not really showing you guys what's going on. It's hard for me to position the camera and to uh, do the work at the same time, boss. Okay guys, so that's everything installed, front camber arm, rear camber arm, and rear traction arm. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and end the video here. I'm gonna finish up my work to the other sides. Don't remember, don't, hit, don't forget to torque your bolts. If you like this video and wanna see some more content from me and my car, Carmen, please remember to hit that like and subscribe button. And until next time, peace.